All right. So, uh, what does the actual API look like to add things to the playlist? Uh, playlists, insert. Oh, there's one more piece of information this needs that I didn't include when I was uh, changing the, the structs. And also, Moody Abiel, thank you for the lurk. It's appreciated. Um, right, so we need to also say where in the playlist to insert the video, I feel like. No, this is this is no playlist items. Yes, insert. Not playlists. Insert that that creates a new playlist, but it's not what I'm trying to do for right now. Uh, okay, so playlist index. What's going to make sense here? A position playlist position maybe. Uh, let's see playlist item resource. So let's say playlist position, yes. Yepper. Oh, it's somewhere in here. Position, unsigned integer, checks out. Uh, zero base indexed, uh, uh, yep. I assume if there's like, if there's three items in the list and you give it a position of one, that it shifts down all the remaining items to insert it. <laughs> I assume that's how it works. Uh, yeah, so anyway. We did the other stream add a thing into the episode to have like a episode order value. So that's probably going to like be what it gets sent to this API to be used there. Okay, and then we just have to carry it through. Come on, you know you wanna, there you go. Okay. So then, this part is, is probably not right. Let's go back to the API endpoint info. Playlist items, part equals snippet, and key equals thing. I don't think that's right. We do want snippet, because that's where the playlist ID and resource ID and position are. I don't think we need key, not like this. For the same reason we didn't need to do that in the URL here. Yes. So like we don't even need this format. We don't even need this or having a separate <laughs> variable for that. Let's put that there. Uh, and it should be a post, I'm sure. Application JSON authorization. I mean, honestly, at some point I might just like abstract, like here's how you call this API with uh, uh, authorization, bearer, access token exposed secret. Yes. Then dot JSON stuff. Like so, yeah. Yeah, like that. Send and await. Okay, so then snippet, playlist ID, resource ID, kind. I'm pretty sure this is right. Resource ID, kind. The kind or type of the referred resource. I think we don't actually strictly need to say that. We'll just put the video ID there. 
And then uh, in here, we can also have a position. Uh, unwrap or zero. Okay, so if it's not provided, we'll just drop the video at the beginning of the playlist, which is not great. Do we have more information about how position works? Like if I put a value of like a million, <laughs> does it does it just work and put it at the end of the list? I don't know, it doesn't say. Um, right. Now we have a different problem <laughs> because we need to get the uh, URL from the location header, but we've already borrowed response. Let's implement JSON takes ownership, which moves it. Does, can we move this up then? Or will this also take ownership and just have move the problem around to a different place? Yes. Can't move out of response because it is borrowed. Yep. of response occurs here. Borrow later used here. <sighs> Is it you happy <laughs> apparently apparently that works okay okay All right so upload takes a, a reference well to an str and apparently we can pass a reference to a string and that works uh, right and then we have to pass through the playlist position into the task payload from the API payload Uh, and okay, so uh, let's see. I mean, let me add another thing to the agenda here, right? So um, we actually we've we've done the part where the backend will communicate with the Google API to send the right information. Um, we need to update front end to send. Uh, playlist and position, right? Because the so we're gonna we're gonna add a playlist ID to the series table that's linked to the episode, but that doesn't directly communicate with this API. It's the database tables are pulled by the CRUD API that serve to the front end. The front end then allows the user to click a button to upload to YouTube that uh, will pass that in. Okay, so next thing up is, uh, maybe we'll commit all this stuff. Yeah, see, it's still doing it, feet. Add recording date and playlist options to YouTube upload requests. This commit adds recording date, playlist ID, playlist position, 
Allow these fields allow users to specify the recording date of the video and add it to a specific playlist. Yep. That's what happened. It's pretty sweet actually, like a detailed commit message. <laughs> Okay, so let's do database stuff. So for good or ill, all of my database migrations live inside a credit API. I think I have a task to generate a migration with diesel. Uh, so this is gonna be like add playlist ID to series cred api okay yep now What does the table actually look like? <laughs> Let's see, let me get a uh, PG admin up. It is a loading. Copilot's taking a while to think about this. Not sure why. Maybe it's because they tabbed out. It's kind of actually just not actually thinking. I don't know. All right, so we have a table called series. Uh, can I make this bigger? Not that way. Maybe, nope, not that way either. Okay, well, never mind. So we have like a thumbnail URL for like a series thumbnail, title, description, ID. Uh, so it's just the table called series and we want to add playlist ID to it. It's going to be like alter table series, add column playlist ID. Uh, is not a UUID. Honestly, I don't know. I don't even know if the docs say. Playlist ID. Maybe over here. It's a string. It's an ID of some length. It's it's text. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no. I'm, which is like I don't need to say that. I could just not say anything. But I'll be explicit, right? It is a nullable column that contains text called playlist ID that's on the series table. Um, we already have like a foreign key relationship between episode and series. So, hey Lady Versailles, happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Yes, indeed. It is Mother's Day, isn't it? All right, so, but yes, welcome in. And yes, this, so we should like alter table, drop column playlist ID, yes. All right, so that should work. I can run diesel migration run on cred API and it did it. All right, well, that was easy. So, and that also updates schema.rs. Oh, that's very weird. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so it added a uh, playlist ID to the series table there. Um, What else do we need to do? Well, if the front end is going to have the playlist ID so that it can call the back end to add the video to the playlist, we need that information to get into the front end somehow. 
So probably what I want to do. Huh. So like I can make a separate API to pull information about series and just have it like have the front end pull the related record for the series to get the playlist ID. I guess it's kind of doing that already, isn't it? It must be because we're getting like the the name of the series. Have I actually pulled up the uh, <laughs> the glowing telegram UI today? So many windows. Uh, right. So like, here's the series list. Yeah, yeah. So I I did all the crud stuff for this. So let's update the series um, crud API to include the playlist ID. I don't know that I'll need, well, I'll need to be able to edit it in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so let's do that. So handlers, series. Um, so definitely get one. So that's where we're getting a single record. Oh, right, 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 right. So uh, series detail view is the thing we need to update. Um, and update series request and create series request. So we're gonna add, we're gonna start adding stuff here. So we'll add pub, uh, playlist ID, that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, there and there and um, there, right? So series detail view is kind of the, here is the details about the series. Um, for when we're either retrieving a single record. Yeah, for when we're retrieving a single record. Uh, whereas generally the simple view is for like the list view, but I'm, I'm not planning on including the including the playlist ID in the, in the list view, I think. Hmm. Think about that for a second. When we're in the front end and we're looking at this uh, at um, an episode, uh, there we go. All right, so like if we're looking at this, let me uh, inspect here, network tab. And let's refresh the page. So we pull in a, a bunch of information. One of the things we do is we query series. And we do this as a, this is a uh, basically a get list operation. And so we get the simple view, right? So we don't get the thumbnail URL, but this is what's used to populate this dropdown. No, sorry. Uh, this drop down for the series. Do I. Hmm. Do I. Do I care about having the playlist ID there? I don't think so. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, so the the, epi the episode upload functionality is inside of the episode list view as a bulk operation, upload to YouTube. Um, so I think what I need to do, because what this does is when I click the button, it pulls these records. So the CRUD API for retrieving individual episodes needs to like do a join and pull in the pull in the uh, playlist from the associated series, right? So I don't think I need to be able to have that information in the list request coming back, I think. <laughs> so uh, just on the detail view and on the update and create, requests. There we go. And uh, then we got to fix the errors. Right? So this is this is how we're translating 
the database record into the detail view with this from implementation. And we just need to add the playlist ID. Uh, and that makes everything happy. Now, create and update will also need to be updated. This is an interesting track. Uh, why is this unhappy? I've done something wrong here. Uh, what do you mean it's not found on series? Oh, right. So this file, models.rs, has to be manually updated. It's not auto-generated. And that's what we're referencing off of. So I need to add playlist ID here as well. So this is, this is the bridge, right, between the schema, which defines things in terms of the actual, like, database types, like JSONB and UUID, not to be confused with the actual, like, uh, UUID crate and those things, these are all like database uh, column types, right? And then in models.rs, I'm defining a struct and I'm able to define how I want, um, what types I want to use internally for things that are querying. Uh, when they get, you know, a series back, oh, it's, a, it's an option of a string. Like if I had something other than a string that maybe could be deserialized from the text field from the database, I could use that type here instead of string. Anyway, so if I save this, this should be fine now. Yes. And I just need to do up. Uh, well, <laughs> it, it could have been fine. Um, playlist ID. How do you get playlist ID? Oh, it's sad. It's not happy about that. Uh, update series change set. Right. Are you happy now? No. Oh, what's the problem? And why is it a problem now? Uh, update series change set option string. Option string. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. You have to hover over it. Restart. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Maybe nothing? Maybe something? I mean, it's the same as all the other ones. Hmm. Uh, no, no, it's fine now. Let me, yeah, if I save it, yeah, it's all fine. There's no problem. Oh, or, or there is a problem. <laughs> uh, one of the two. What, why, why, why are you like this? The trait bounds, you have the string, string, option, string, option, string. Naive date time, option naive date time from blah, 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 blah. Required for series to implement. Okay. Um. So in here, what's the problem? It's a mystery. Check for 
I, I mean, all that I've changed is add a single <laughs> column. Why is this an issue? Um, oh, no, no. I mean, I was thinking maybe something to do with the, the way the macro works and get one and all that, but yeah, sure, I select all columns, but I was doing that before. Um, for, okay, and then I get list. I'm using this macro, right? And I use a series simple view. Right, but this doesn't have all columns I, either way, because we had like thumbnail URL. imports. Let's get rid of these. Okay, something is required for it for to implement uh, queryable. The trait bound, series queryable. Yeah, it should it should implement queryable. Uh, let's see, where are we? Structs. No, no, no. Series structs. That's right. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, models. Yeah, it should implement queryable. trait is derived, it will assume that all fields in your struct matches all the fields in the query. Uh-huh. Including the order and count. This means the field order is significant if you're using... The field order is significant. The field order is significant. The field order is significant. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that, but that's what it is. Okay. What have I learned? <laughs> uh, the field order is significant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Add playlist ID field to series create and update handlers. Playlist ID fields now included in things, allowing you to specify playlist ID when creating or updating a series. This feature enables users to associate a series with a specific playlist in the application. Is this a feature? <laughs> From a certain point of view. I mean, we still have to implement the front end, but. Yep. Um. But what I need to do now, I think, is in episode, uh, get one. I think I actually need to look at the front end first to figure out what I'm doing here. So in the front end, how are we handling the bulk operation to upload to YouTube? So that's in resources, episodes, upload episode to YouTube button. So what we do is we take, we identify the episodes we want to uh, upload and we check the ones that actually have our, you know, have a video file to upload and then we uh, call upload episodes to YouTube. Okay, so how do we get episodes? Okay, so when the dialogue opens, we call get many on episodes. 
So get many actually uses the 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 get list endpoint here uh, with the filter, which means that the uh, thing that this returns needs to include the um, playlist ID. So the thing this returns is find instructs it's going to be the episode simple view it's not so simple anymore <laughs> uh play list id hmm no we can't do that we can't do that um, how, how does this work? How are we actually doing this? So results, oh, I see. Right, so we, we select all columns and then we have a little bit of extra SQL. So we find the stream date from the stream and we pull that. So... At some point, I will probably want to do something better than just have a tuple here. Um, but I think I'm just going to do this. And so we're going to say option um, of something. Oops. Option of what? So we are trying to get the uh, playlist ID, right? So this should be string and I mean that's a guess right uh, but what we want is we want the playlist ID from the uh, series where series ID equals episodes dot series ID Yes, and that this may be null, but there are, there won't be more than one result in the subquery because there the episode only has a single series ID, uh, and ID is the primary key on series, and that is <laughs> uh, you wouldn't want this to return more than one result, uh, and then we need to update the other type. Then when I save this, the preview of result here will update and we'll get some errors further down. Since there's not anything that implements converting this particular tuple, tuple. I used to always call it a tuple and then some, some, someone long ago told me it was pronounced tuple, even if there's more than two things in it. And now I don't know what to think. Uh, yeah, there we go, dot, dot, dot. Okay, and then, so yeah, episode simple view from, I'm surprised this is not giving me an error, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. That's that's the purpose of this particular implementation of from, is specifically for this use case, uh, which is weird, I think. I, I've not written a lot of Rust, but I feel like doing this this way is weird. And we should have, there should probably be, probably be another struct or some kind of wrapper type here, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, and so then this is our playlist ID. Yep. And we're going to just sneak that in right there. So we have the series ID because we want to expose that, but we also want the playlist ID for convenience sake. Um, right, but we've not added playlist ID to 
Episode simple Phoebe. There we go. Option string. Okay. What's the problem? Uh, right. We have... Ah. Missing some type information here. There we go. Expected enum found strut. Yeah, introduce a new binding instead. Yes. So the issue is that there's something called playlist ID, which is one of the it's the column name that we're pulling in. Oh, no, 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 no. We we don't need this imported in here, do we? Nah. Um, and then. If we only have the episode, there's no way for us to get the playlist ID. So in this case, we'll just set that to none. Like we do with the stream date. And then episode detail view. Doesn't have... Uh, I guess... It seems kind of weird <laughs> to have it on the simple view, but then not, not the detail view. But I think for this use, use case, that'll be fine. Okay, so that should get it to the front end, which means when we call get many here, the data in here is going to have uh, the playlist ID, if there was one for the series. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to go back to the back end for uh, the YouTube Upload API. And we need to look at that, the shape of the payload that is being sent to the API, the, this part right here. Um, what do we, oh, actually two things, two things. Um, we also should look at what, ooh, um, what's the best way of doing that? Let's go back to CRUD API. Let's look at the struct for the episode. So we have stream date. Yes. Okay, cool. So the things that we added that we want to pass in uh, are the these three things here. So this is going to be recording date. Uh, no, I don't know why I hit tab there. Uh, recording date is not episode dot recording date, but it is episode dot stream date. And then we want the playlist ID. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually like a real playlist ID. Anyway, episode dot playlist ID, yes. And then playlist position. I'm surprised Copilot did not actually intuit uh, playlist position is not playlist position. Um, from here, we want to use order index. There we go. So those are the three new pieces of information that we're passing in to this API. So we're passing, we're, we're like building this data set here to ship it to, uh, <laughs> uh, to, to this API endpoint later. At some point, I'm going to make it so that we can send different category IDs and add tags and, and that sort of thing. I'm just not there yet. And control whether this, there, there's actually a separate item in the project plan uh, for that. Over uh, here and maybe some other places. Anyway, I think this, this will be good. So, all right. Oh, 
Oh, right. Pretty Year's Unhappy. Um, Pretty Year's Unhappy because at some point, I think on the last stream in the front end, I changed because we did a bunch of updates. We did a bunch of dependency updates. That was a, a large part of the last stream. Uh, and then we had to update package JSON to add type module. And so now pretty year is unhappy with this pretty year .config .js. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this and we are, I still want a, like a config file to like have a per project config. We'll make it a prettier RC file though. And it just needs to be like just empty. This is a problem. If I use a, a keyboard too much, like this key on a normal keyboard is an escape key, but that's uh, <laughs> not an escape on this keyboard. Okay, so, uh, all right, so if I go to this file now and I save, yeah, prettier works. No error. All right, let's commit all this. What did we do? Add playlist ID and playlist position fields episode get list handler. Um, okay, so let's let's check in. Just do this part. There we go. Yes. Correct. And now, add recording date and playlist options to YouTube, upload, this is not what's happening here. <laughs> uh, do you wanna try again, Copilot? Nope, you, you, you really believe that's what, okay. And uh, in, in front end. Nope, I didn't mean to have that. Uh, That little character there. Anyway, okay, so what's left? Add playlist ID to series table, update front end to send playlist and position. So this might actually work. Uh, I do need to rebuild everything. See, Docker Compose Up should rebuild things. There we go. This might be a minute, but uh, once we have this, I should be able in the front end to like I can I can go here now. Um. Oh, right, right. There is one more thing to do. So in, um, in series, edit and create, I want to add the, um, a field for the playlist ID. Is it a text input? Uh, I mean, I could. I mean, I might as well throw in the, th the thumbnail URL as well. Is that is that something that's supported in uh, in the series create? Yes. Okay. So there wasn't really any reason for me not to have that. Uh, it's not category, although we do want to have a category field at some point. Uh, for today, though, we're just doing a uh, playlist. Hey. Yes, please import. Come on, it is text input, right? It'll eventually catch up. It's just a little slow right now. There we go. Okay, 
So now, on the front end, there we go. Playlist. So, for the glowing telegram project, Chill Sunday Morning Coding, uh, this is very, very meta. Um, let's see. There we go. So, if I go to playlists, maybe I can find the ID of the playlist in here. Glowing telegram. Like, I'm assuming it's this bit. All right, I'm back to here. Uh, so I can paste this and save it. Uh, that's not gonna work right now because we're still building the back end. Right, so when we put, we send the playlist ID but the response doesn't have a playlist ID because the backend's not updated yet. So now we're properly stuck waiting for waiting for this to happen. Um, so how this should work though, what this should do is, uh, we can save the playlist ID uh, here, All right, paste. Kind of slow. Uh, save that, and then I can go back to the episodes list. Should figure out how to make it so that the loading screen also obeys the uh, dark mode preferences. Anyway, uh, should have some things pre-selected, right? So I've already uploaded these, but if I hadn't uploaded these, uh, I would be able to click upload to YouTube. And yes, let's do this. Um, uh, is that gonna be problematic? I do wanna test this, but I also don't wanna test this. I don't want to test this on something I've already up uploaded, but I guess it's fine. Um, and, and again, right now I can't do anything because you know we're still building the back end. Um, but I would click this button, upload to YouTube, and what I would expect to happen is that it would um, upload this, it would create the kind of the placeholder in YouTube for the video. Um, and then add the video to the playlist based on the index that I provided, right? So it should appear towards the end. Uh, yeah, there we go. 49? Yeah. 49. I'm always curious about the dislikes, but I know what it is, right? Just YouTube sends videos <laughs> kind of randomly sometimes. And if it's not what you want, I get it. All right. Well, I think now is a good time for a break because this is still gonna take a couple more minutes. Uh, and hopefully when we get back from the break, we can uh, do some testing